The fear of death keeps mortals well in check. You'd best learn to fear something yourself, you hear me, boy? Fear is for the weak. Now listen, Zagreus. Admittedly, this is a little strange, even from me. I have a message for your bow. That's right. Just go on up to Coronach next time and tell it with a firm, commanding voice. I see you drawn in the arms of the seventh avatar. Let me know how it goes, okay? From the goblins of the earth, I have deduced your father himself stands against you, when at last you are about to leave these depths. It must be quite an interaction between you. Have I deduced correctly? Respond. That's right, Master Chaos. My father personally takes it upon himself to stop me in the event none of his underlings beat him to it. He can be a handful. Well then, consider bringing to one of your future interactions the small round catalyst which I provided you. The one in the shape you call an egg. It shall serve no purpose there at all. And if you succeed, then it shall bring us some amusement, shall it not? Helios, the sun, a nonsense talker with a flaming chariot. Why, he once told me that my Kore, that she went into that underworld of yours. Preposterous. The clouds now blot him out entirely. I suppose even down in the underworld, you would have heard such tales of me, young man. They're all untrue, <laughs> except the tales of my bravery. Those are completely accurate. Though all too modest in most cases, I must say. You've met your distant relatives by now. We don't all share the same demeanor nor see eye to eye. Though all of us, I think, wish you the best. I'm back, ladies. Ready, sisters. What's the matter, Zagreus? You look a bit uncomfortable. Something you want to say to me? Or any one of us? Well, it's just... There's something that I wanted to discuss with you at some point, Meg, but after more consideration, I'm thinking maybe now is not the time. I understand entirely. Though you should know my sisters and I keep no secrets from each other anymore. Isn't that right, sisters? Whenever I encounter you, Uncle Poseidon, my spirits lift, and I feel there must not be anything that can stop me. I only wish we met sooner. Though I'm grateful to have met you at all. I thought I told you, nephew, not to make such offerings to me. I probably forgot. Or getting you mixed up, perhaps, for I have many other nephews, thanks to Zeus. Though between us, I don't like any one of them as much as you. Why, little Hades, there's a certain chill about you, meaning you received an ice cold blessing courtesy of Elder Goddess Demeter, correct? Now, personally, I think water's best in liquid form, but who am I to judge? I salute you, Lord Hermes, with this rarest of delicacies. Pretty rare here, anyway. You never show it, but I can only imagine how hard you must be working to back me up. Cheers, mate. You know, the last time anybody offered me ambrosia from the underworld was never before now. That's quite a gesture on your part. You could have just as well taken my services for granted, and I'd not have minded in the least. But thank you, cuz. It's downright chilly up here lately, cuz. We've their measure to thank for that. Me, I'd try to stay out of her way. She doesn't think I have a much help to her. Although, I'm sure she's warm to you, at least. strong, short one, but I'm just as obstinate as you. King of the Olympians, Lord Zeus, forgive this offer of ambrosia, for I know you have no limit of it there, but here it is the finest gift that can be given, and even still it isn't anything compared to all you've done for me. Thank you, uncle. Now, now, nephew, you are most generous indeed in showing all this deference to me. But we must keep some distance, shouldn't we? Lest all the others here, why, they would be most jealous if they caught me playing favorites. Even though you are my favorite. Presently, at least. I 
greet you, cousin. I bring to you the Lady Demeter, cousin. I've asked that you please rest assured knowing we have your matter well under control. Though in her infinite compassion, she has taken up your cause nevertheless. Oh, you needn't lavish me with your faint praise, Athena, dear. In all your boundless intellect, I'd have expected you would know I see through your intentions plain as day. Enjoy it, care on, mate. Don't go thinking I'm just being kind to get you to lower your prices for me. That would be unconscionable. Charon, I always thought Olympians never consorted with Chthonic gods such as yourself, but it sounds like Hermes is a close colleague of yours. You wouldn't happen to know why he's helping me, would you? Uh, I'm sorry, mate. I meant you no offense. to be sent back into the depths whence you came. The prince compels the multi-headed hound to let him pass. Thanks, boy. I don't think I'll ever get accustomed to the breeze. You bear the Aegis so much like your Uncle Zeus once did. Imagine that Prince Zagreus experiences some sort of joyous outcome for a change, in contrast to the arbitrary and unfortunately painful death he shall experience now. is like a dream come true. I mean, how come you're always being so darn nice to me? But anyway, um, thanks. Sure thing, Hypnos. Knock yourself out. Just keep and watch over the pull of sticks there, same as always. I've had the opportunity to use your aspect of Baratha, sir. So you once wielded it yourself. It fills me with a hunger for battle even more so than usual. A bit of your fighting spirit, perhaps. Be very wary of that spirit, lad. It was what brought me here before my time. Although that spear indeed once served me well. A parting gift from my old master Chiron. He cautioned me as I'm cautioning you. Though may you be a better listener. I can't imagine you weren't always a good listener, Achilles. It was my duty to prevent him from getting farther. If I succeeded, he never would have found you. So this once, I'm glad I failed. I hope you know that, my queen. I hoped, but did not know for certain till I heard from you just now, Overseer Megara. And if I may, I understand you have achieved an awful lot since I took my, um, leave of absence from this house. I see why Nyx and Hades put their trust in you. Thank you, my queen. Then if there's anything else that I can do to help you reacclimate yourself, I'm always at your service. You are most welcome here. Likewise, you be sure to let me know if my son there happens to make more trouble for you than you welcome in your life. All right? <laughs> As you say. This nectar not fancy enough for you, boy, is that it? You've developed quite a delicate palate at your distinguished age. <laughs> Though having little appetite remaining for the lightness of Nectar's flavor, the multi-headed monster of the underworld nevertheless accepts. <laughs> Enough of this, boy. Even mortals know better. I don't want your Nectar or Ambrosia or whichever offerings. You owe me no such thing. I shall not accept it any longer. In fact, here. You shall take all of it back. Why? It's just nectar, father. Lighten up. I get that you're surly about everything, but please at least try toward decency with me. If not for me, then for mother. How dare you lecture me? I mean... Look, as you told me yourself, there's no changing what already transpired. And our memories are warnings. When you have lived as long as I have, 
you come to understand your weaknesses. What are you getting at? You're just going to give up, stick with what's comfortable for you instead of making any real effort at making peace with your son. <sighs> Listen to me. My attempts at making peace are going to be rather subtle for your tastes. I cannot change the past, and there is only so much I can do about the future. I tell you this because... I shall not lie to you again. That much, I swear. All right. Well, it's a start. One thing before you depart again, boy. Until the Queen's intentions with Olympus come to pass, not a word to anyone about her presence here. Do you understand? I do, but she won't have to hide forever. I saw you took possession of the list of minor prophecies of the Three Fates. As ever, I should never have doubted my daughter's expectations. I was uncertain you had necessary guidance to select it from among the house contractor's many opportunities. You offer something called the fated list of minor prophecies to me, chances are I'm going to pick it up. Though, you make it sound like there's more I should know about it. Should I be concerned? You know exactly what is necessary and no more. I know better than anyone never to tamper with the fate's design. Though, if they had cruelty in store for you through their list, I think that I would warn you anyway. That's somehow reassuring. What do I look like, pal? Some kind of conversationalist? <laughs>